I am going to do mm. Rice Krispie treats in a way that you have never seen before. So this is pretty exciting. I like to use real butter in my Rice Krispie treats because it tastes so very good. It's a flavor like no other. So I literally buy butter when it's on sale, keep it in the freezer and use it for very special things. And Rice Krispie treats is one of those special things. So I modify, which you all will not be surprised about, I modify my Rice Krispie recipe. I use a whole stick, because I want it easy peasy, I don't want to have to measure. So I'm going to put a whole stick of butter into the pan and then save the wrapper. I'm going to show you there's a reason we have to save the wrapper. Okay, next I'm going to measure out my Rice Krispies. I have one of these very old eight cup Tupperware measuring cups. Now these are real Rice Krispies. It doesn't have to be real Rice Krispies. Sometimes I buy the store brand of Rice Krispies, but in this case, they were on sale. I think for $1.99 or less, so I bought them. So I am measuring eight cups of Rice Krispies. I think the normal recipe calls for six or seven. Okay, so there's eight cups of Rice Krispies. In it goes. I'm getting out the air because that will keep my Rice Krispies fresher, longer, and I have a chip clip to put on the cereal bag. That will also keep it fresher, longer. And back into the box, it goes. Rice Krispie Treats. We've and got the butter melting. I am going to add marshmallows because tonight we are making rice krispie treats with red hots that is your surprise and they are awesome now i need to tell you another secret about rice krispie treats i bet there has been somebody that is watching that has made rice krispie treats where the marshmallows will not melt because my rice krispie recipe is larger i use a bigger pan so this is not 9 by 13. Let me see if it says what it is. This is Anchor Hocking 11 by 15. Here is some coconut cooking spray I got at the dollar store, which probably should cost a lot more. And I'm going to, I am going to grease my pan with this. I'm not using shortening for something like that because the finished product is going in there. Now I'm throwing in the marshmallows. Okay, well, the trick is if you have marshmallows that don't melt, that means that they're too old. And so what you do under that situation is you add a little bit of water, uh, like one tablespoon at a time until the marshmallows melt. Oh, and and that's, why, yeah. that's why you want to use butter because if you use margarine, margarine has water in it. And if you have that margarine plus the water you add to your marshmallows to get them to melt, then your Rice Krispie Treats will be a little bit soggy. Great for the family, may not be so good to take with you someplace. He's adding a tablespoon of water. Um, Why are you add, doing that? It doesn't look like it's fluid enough. That is perfect. This is so good. Oh, it takes really, I think I have this down to 10 minutes to make this. Okay, now, folding is important. You've got to try to keep you can't just manhandle and stir the Rice Krispies or it's going to break them. Now, do you have the flame on still or is it off? No, flame is off now. So I'm just mixing the, um, I'm going down to the bottom and turning it over. But so you're trying not to crush them. Correct. Alrighty, now it's time for the Red Hots. Oh, this is so good. These taste so good. The best time to find them on clearance after Valentine's Day. There's a ton of Red Hots on sale. The millennials love this. Remember when I told you hold on to that butter wrapper? Because these Rice Krispie Treats are hot. Here's the butter wrapper, right? Now watch, you're gonna use the butter wrapper to spread the Rice Krispie Treats around in the pan. And we're using a big pan so that they're skinny and you can cut them into small bites. People will eat dessert if they can have a small bite of it. Because a lot of people are cutting back on desserts. And so I'm using this. It works perfect to pat down the Rice Krispies and get them spread out in the pan. 
Doesn't that look beautiful? See, no, wait. They, they want to come down and take a smell. So just oh, still. man. Okay, it is go. so Let's yummy. Look at how pretty those look. So are. yummy. Yep. Stephen and Anacondamitis from Money Smart Family. Good night.